But Tiangong Ultra was created by Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center. It finished in 2 hours and 40 minutes. That's about two hours behind the human world record of 56 minutes and 42 seconds held by Ugandan runner Jacob Kiplimo. Still, that didn't stop onlookers from cheering the humanoid robots on. Almost all of the robots had help from their human handlers who ran or walked next to them. Some were led by remote control and others were tied to a leash. Several Chinese companies and universities participated in the half marathon, which was organized to showcase China's advances in humanoid technology as it plays catch up with the U.S. The government saw a crossroads, automate or fall behind. Fast forward to today. China is responsible for more than half of all new industrial robot installations worldwide. The Made in China 2025 initiative and the latest five-year plan have made robotics a national priority, with billions poured into research, development, and commercialization. Cities like Beijing and Shanghai have launched their own robotics action plans, investing billions to attract talent and foster innovation. The result? A robotics ecosystem that's growing faster than anywhere else on the planet. Let's step inside the heart of the revolution, the mega factories. Here, at Ubtech's sprawling facility, hundreds of engineers and robots work side by side. The air buzzes with the sound of servo motors and the click of assembly arms. Meet Ubtech's walker robots, now working in car plants like Dongfeng Motor. These bipedal machines aren't just for show they're assembling parts, inspecting quality, and even greeting guests. This is what Elon Musk told us we should be worried about. Coming out of China, uh, in Shanghai, there's an auto show last week, and uh, they showed this off again. This is a super amazing, smart humanoid robot that they would like us to eventually put in our houses, uh, have them around the office. Uh, so you wonder, is this a job killer? Or is this innovation that's going to help us? This one is certainly a job killer, and then you wonder, if this has so much AI in it and these really amazing brains, I mean, yeah. it could, the, the processing power inside of this thing, and by the way, it can't see 360 degrees, it sees 720 degrees. What does that mean? It means it not only can see around, it can see up and down, up and it down. can see depth. So when these things start to make decisions, yeah. we got problems, yeah. and that's where they're headed. And I don't want one in my house. Not yet. Okay, the FBI is war build cars, but this is just another, but is this just another AI threat? To, to, to your job, Kurt, the cyber guy, joins us now. This is really kind of scary. Though. This is what Elon Musk told us we should be worried about. Appliance giant Mydea is rolling out its own humanoids in smart factories, where they'll soon inspect product quality and interface with home appliances. Electric vehicle makers BYD and Geely are deploying Unitree's humanoid robots on their production lines, a sign that mass adoption is already underway. The goal? Boost productivity, cut labor costs, and tackle the 4 Ds, dirty, dangerous, dull, and dedicated jobs. But these robots aren't just stuck in factories. They're going viral running half marathons, cycling, dancing, and even performing flips. In April 2025, over 20 bipedal robots competed in the world's first humanoid half marathon in Beijing. While they didn't outrun their human competitors, their performance showcased just how far China's robotics have come. And it's not just about athletic feats. In Beijing's innovation centers, robots serve as receptionists. In Fuzhou, smart nannies assist caregivers in senior homes. And in Chengdu, wellness robots are being prepped for preventative healthcare. These viral clips have stunned the world. Social media is flooded with memes, debates, and even skepticism some viewers wonder if the footage is CGI. But make no mistake, these robots are real, and they're getting smarter with every update. So, what's powering this leap? Advanced AI and motion control. Chinese engineers are using reinforcement learning and imitation to teach robots high dynamic movements from walking and running to complex object manipulation. Large AI models enable robots to process language, 
analyze environments, and adapt to new tasks. China's data advantage is huge. Thanks to a permissive regulatory environment and government contracts, Chinese firms can access vast, diverse datasets accelerating development and deployment cycles. Why is China betting so big on robots? The answer is both economic and demographic. China's working age population is shrinking from nearly a billion in 2014 to a projected 800 million by 2050. Robots are seen as the answer to labor shortages, especially in manufacturing and elder care. The market is massive. China's embodied AI sector is expected to hit $134 billion in 2025, with elder care robotics alone projected to double by 2029. Government incentives, city-level funds, and national policies are all driving this push. How does China stack up globally? Analysts say China is already ahead of the US in the humanoid robot race, thanks to scale, supply chain dominance, and strong government support. Companies like Unitree have even created robots independent of American components, reducing vulnerability to export controls. The US and Europe are responding with export restrictions and investment curbs, but China's focus on practical, near-term deployment rather than just frontier research may give it an edge. But with opportunity comes risk. Experts warn that mass adoption of humanoid robots could lead to job losses, privacy concerns, and even national security threats. The U.S. government sees this as a new kind of arms race, implementing chip export controls and restricting investment in Chinese AI infrastructure. Yet, China's approach is pragmatic. Deploy what works now to solve real problems, from factory automation to elder care, rather than chasing theoretical breakthroughs. Is this more practical or more risky? So, what's next? China aims for mass production of humanoid robots by 2025, with the goal of building a secure, reliable supply chain by 2027. As AI advances, these robots will become smarter, more autonomous, and more integrated into everyday life. Will we see robots as our co-workers, helpers, or even rivals? Will China's approach set the global standard or trigger new tensions? The robot revolution is here, and China is leading the charge. Should we be excited, concerned, or both? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the future of technology.